We're meeting Samantha and Joey and taking them with us to the movies. Come on, Grandpa, help us find a movie with no sex and no violence. No sex, no violence, no Grandpa. <laughs> I know it's safe. Let's take him to the revival of Snow White. Oh, I don't think we should take the kids to see that. I've always thought Snow White was a little kinky. <laughs> Teenage girl living with seven dwarfs. Ah, uh, we'll see Snow White. I always did like Grumpy. Hi, Addie. Hi, Julie. Is Nell here? I don't know. I haven't seen her since lunch. Come to think of it, she went out for the mail and didn't come back. <laughs> That's right. I saw her running down the street crying. Why didn't you stop her? I thought she was jogging and it hurt. <laughs> These two fleas were coming out the restaurant. <laughs> and one turned to the other one and said, you want to walk or you want to take a dog? <laughs> Anybody want coffee? <laughs> I'd like some. Uh, we can't. We're gonna go see Snow White. Tony was all black. <laughs> Does anybody else notice Snow's acting a little strange? Maybe I better go talk to her. Hi, honey. Your coffee ready in a moment. No. Is there something wrong? No. If there were something Yes. Like... So, so there's nothing? No. Hmm. Then why are you acting so strange? I ain't acting strange. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I yell? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm all right now. Oh, girl, I got this amusing note from Mama telling me that my ex-husband, Tony, got remarried. Ain't that funny? <laughs> <laughs> I don't see why she's carrying on like this. Tony was a jerk. Carl, Nell's problem is that she's a... Well, she's a... Oh, what is the word? Poor thing. Psychologically, the remarriage of an ex-spouse, it just accentuates a sense of failure. Right now, Nell is an emotional yo-yo. That's the word, yo-yo. <laughs> coming through, hot stuff coming through. Here you go, people. Chief, there's your coffee. No, I told you we're going out to the movies. Well, I sure wish somebody had a told me. I wouldn't have made such a big pot. He did tell you. <laughs> now, do you want to talk about Tony? No. <laughs> Besides, it's all right here in this clipping. Read it, honey. Miss Mary Ann Holt was married to Anthony Talmadge at the little church in the Pines. The 18-year-old bride... 18? ...is the former second runner-up to Miss Baton Rouge. Love, Mama. Oh, good news from home now? She's 18, your home record, let me out. What do you want now? Get along with yourself. What is wrong with you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Katie. It's not your fault, but you're... 18? Sit down. Sit down. Sit Look, why don't you all go to the movies, and I'll just stay here and have a little heart-to-heart -heart with Nell. Oh, don't leave on my account. Katie, I'm real sorry I tried to choke you. Twice. Oh. Boy, we're going to be late for the movies. Come on, gang, let's go. Good luck, you know. Uh, now I'll be home after the movie in case you need me. All right, Chief. Just you remember, there's lots of fish in the sea. Oh, you're so sweet, Grandpa. Your ex-husband found that out, didn't he? <laughs> he caught a young one, too. Who you believe Tony left me for another woman? 
You divorced him, and that was seven years ago. I know. His new bride was 11 years old then. <laughs> you know, you sound like you're still carrying a torch for him. You want him back? Are you kidding? I wouldn't take that bag of fleas back if he were the last man on this earth. Crazy? Then why are you so upset? Because I don't want nobody else to have it. <laughs> I understand what you're feeling, but, honey, since the divorce, you haven't exactly been leading the life of a nun. That's not fair, Addie. I did not know he was a priest. <laughs> That is not what I'm talking about. Abby, I've only cared about two men in my whole life. One I divorced, and the other one forgot to tell me he was married. Oh. <laughs> Please, let's not bring James Rowland into this. Let's just deal with one bad love affair at a time. <laughs> with James, it was just love. He never got around to affair. <laughs> Will you listen to yourself? <laughs> That's it. We're getting out of here. I'm going to cheer you up. I ain't going to never be cheered up as long as I live. <laughs> you are wrong, honey. I'm going to call Angie. Ooh. Yes, and we're going to have no, girls night uh, out. No, 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 no. Don't call Angie. Yes, no, Angie. Angie please. Now, now, listen. This is exactly what you need. I'm just a happy-go-lucky, not-too-bright dummy who laughs a lot and is only looking for a good time. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? You just described Tony. <laughs> Ladies, I don't care if it's Tony or James Roland, they're all the same. Yeah? You know, the other night I went out with a man I thought was really different. After two drinks, I find out he's a nine-year-old. If he's a nine-year-old, how come they serve him drinks? He had phony ID, Angie. Oh. <laughs> no, no matter how old they are, they never grow up. It's the Peter Pan syndrome. Mm. They make great peanut butter. <laughs> See how much yes. fun it is to be out with the girls. <laughs> Good evening, ladies. Welcome to Skipper Dwayne's House of Halibut. All our fish is fresh, and we're out of halibut. <laughs> James. <laughs> the James Rowland, I presume. Hey, Hey, man, I'm so glad to see you guys. Hey, we're your buddies, man. Yeah, yeah how often does a friend get divorced? In my case, every three. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes. You guys are just what I need to help me to forget my divorce. Ah. No women, lots of laughs. Yeah. Yeah. I got us a great table. Uh, waiter. Right this way, gentlemen. It's so easy to see through men. You can always tell exactly what they want. Yeah. <laughs> what they want is control and domination. Yeah. <laughs> hey, come on, girls. Let's let's uh, just stop talking about men, right? Right. Okay. Right. No more talk about men. All right. Mm. And another thing, they can't have their way to get mad, act like kids, and want to punch the wall. <laughs> My wife made me so mad, I actually punched the wall. <laughs> Don't get so excited. We're talking about a marriage. It's not like it was the World Series or something important. <laughs> Yeah, Dave's right. Believe me, James, you can't let yourself get all hot and bothered about women. Unless she's got legs like that. <laughs> Check the rest of her out. Excuse me, ladies. I couldn't help but notice your, uh, your, uh... Your legs. You must be the smooth one. I am. Would you like a smooth bench? Yes, but I can't. Nelvick's husband just got married, so we hate all men. <laughs> Sweetheart, dance with a man if you want to. No, now this is girls' night out. Angie, you're supposed to sit here with Nell. Would you like to dance? I'd love to. <laughs> you sit here with Nell. No, honey, go dance. Take her, please, take her. Okay. <laughs> James Rowan, what are you doing here? Oh, hi, Angie. Hi. 
You're James Rowland? Well, yeah. We're celebrating James' divorce tonight. Excuse me, I'll see you on the floor. <laughs> James Rowland is in the next room. Did he say he was out of halibut? No, he's not married anymore. He's divorced. Ooh, the crab cakes sound good. Now the man is available. So are the crab cakes. <laughs> okay. You just sit here and feel sorry for yourself. But I got a good look at James Rowland. And girl, if they had him on the menu, that's what I'd order. Well, you aren't me. I hear the crab cakes are divorced. <clears throat> <laughs> so you really got a divorce, huh? You got a girl? Uh-huh. Let me guess. She's 18. Uh, she's a little bit younger than that. <laughs> you men are all the same. Dump the old lady and go straight for the kids. Wait, no, 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 no. wait, wait, wait. I'm talking about my 15-year-old daughter. Oh. <laughs> Got a picture of her? Yes. I was just kidding. I trust you. Let me see the picture. <laughs> now, my marriage to Yolanda was over when I met you. I missed you, Nella. I thought about you, too. Mm -hmm. Hi there. Would you like to order a drink? <laughs> or do you want to eat first? <laughs> That'll be no drink and no eat. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Now, how would you like to go for a little drive? Where? Santa Barbara? <laughs> it's over 300 miles from here. Is it that close? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just to talk, walk, stroll along the beach, meet the moonlight. There's no moon outside. There's moonlight wherever you are. Now. Oh. <laughs> That's so beautiful. I gotta go to the joint. I mean, to the wants to drive me to Santa Barbara to walk on the beach. Likewise, my guy wants to drive me to his apartment and walk on his waterbed. <laughs> yeah. what, what do you think? Are you going to go out with him? I don't know. You see, well, one side of me says, go on to Santa Barbara and have a good time. But the other side of me says, go on to Santa Barbara and have a good time. <laughs> No, now, is James talking about a long, meaningful relationship, or is this just a cheap, tawdry affair? Which is better? <laughs> I told you, I told you. Look, I don't know. I, I don't know if... I don't know if I'm ready to get involved with James again. Well, you broke your heart once. But then again, the salt... The salt air would be good for my health. <laughs> If you're going for medical reasons... Angie! <laughs> All right! <laughs> Look, now, 
Honey, there is no reason for you to go to Santa Barbara tonight. You're in a very emotional state right now. You're right. Thanks, Addie. Angie. <laughs> Yeah, guess tonight really isn't a good night to go to Santa Barbara. Thank you. <laughs> Hold it. <laughs> I want to talk to you about going to that man's apartment. Well, I'll ask him, but don't get upset if he turns you down. <laughs> you know, Nell, this is the first time we've ever danced together. James, I have something to tell you. Um, oh, um, <laughs> you're not gonna like this, but I have made up my mind. Uh, oh, I have definitely made up my mind. How long would it take you to get me to Santa Barbara? <laughs> we get there plenty of time to see the sunrise. Oh, it's so romantic, man. Mm, sunrise. Yeah. You know, the last time I saw the sunrise, I woke up, realized it was Thursday, and ran out with the garbage cans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we could have a great time. Come on, let's go. OK. Hello, James. Now I'd like for you to meet Yolanda. Hi. <laughs> you must be the ex, Mrs. Rowland. Yes. Are you the next? Excuse me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's so funny? Sit down, sweetheart. Come on. You know you're on the rebound, aren't you? What? And I'm afraid that I'm doing a little rebounding tonight. Myself. What the hell are you talking about now? I got a letter today from my mama telling me that my ex-husband, Tony, got married again. Oh? Yeah, to a much older woman. <laughs> but it didn't seem fair that he should have someone, and I didn't. Then it's lucky that we ran into each other. No, no. You see, you would only be my substitute. Tony. And I would only be your substitute. Your mom. Frankly, honey, you'd be getting the better end of the deal. <laughs> Do I get the feeling that Santa Barbara is out? Not feeling. Now, look, you're divorced. No, listen, I'm divorced. No, listen, listen. If I went to Santa Barbara with you. It would be for the wrong reason. When I go to Santa Barbara with you, I want it to be for the right reason. Don't you want to see the sunrise? I'll see it. It's Thursday, and I got to take the garbage out. I'll see you later. <laughs>
It was so right. It was so wrong. Almost at the same time. The pain and ache. My heart can take. No one really knows. But when the memories cling, and they keep you there till you're no longer king. You can let go now. It's wrong for me to cling to you. But somehow I just needed the time. What was to be? Hey, it's not like me. To hold somebody down. But I was torn so high by love. You know, I almost never came down. Sweetheart, <clears throat> it's now. Look, James, I just thought of a wonderful reason for going to Santa Barbara. Come get me, honey. 